the uh, Pauline's family extremely sort of concerned and worried and angry about the way that she was treated. Could more have been done? It's understandable. And you think if anyone's gone through enough, it's this lady. Uh, but it's really difficult to do any more than they have done. So for a scientist, we do tests in order to find out how these things will go. Mm -hmm. And the tests that have been done are you can put Ebola at 37 degrees body temperature and you'll find that it breaks down within hours. You can put it into animals. If the animals get sick, once they get better, they clear the virus completely. There's not a trace inside of them. Mm -hmm. And you can check other survivors. Anyone who's had this virus usually gets over it completely within a month. But this case is completely unprecedented. She's had this virus in her body for 10 times as long as the average person, three times as long as the previous record holder. It was really unexpected and really unfortunate. So where could the virus have been hiding, to put it sort of in an unmedical way? This is a very good question. So it must be in some compartment of the body where the immune mm. system doesn't go. Imagine a uh, house with a mouse problem. Mm. You have a cat, but the cat can only catch the mice when they're running around the room. If it's in the mouse hole where the cat can't go, there's no way to catch that mouse. So somewhere in her body, for example, there are fluids inside your ear, inside your eyeball, mm. all throughout your body where the cells of the immune system just don't go. It must be somewhere like that, but we won't know until more tests are done. Mm. Mm. And of course, you know, th there is a concern, isn't there, that if she's still harboring the virus, that in some way that virus, you know, might be passed on to other people. This is a concern, and uh, yeah, there's been a lot of talk about this. But the good news there is that she's probably not unique. So for the first time in human history, there are about 20,000 Ebola survivors in the world. Mm and some of those must be in the same situation. Mm. But the good news is that in Africa right now, where most of those people are, there's no ongoing transmission. So even if it is inside a few people, it's well enough contained and at low enough levels that it's not a real risk. So that's good news for her and good news for the world. And yet she mm. seems to have become ill again. So it can have an effect on the carrier Definitely. but isn't transmitting to other people. Is that the sort of inference we're making? This is as far as we know, yeah. It'll depend on how much virus there is in their blood. And unless there's a lot, they can't even detect it. Mm. Yeah.